former world champion, a guy who fought Manny Pacquiao. Four of his last five fights have been here. Algeria. Maynard told us something very interesting. I said he's fought Manny Pacquiao, he's fought Amir Khan. Stop, 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 stop. Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan aren't as fundamentally sound. He has been here as one in this Neil Marcus. Before this, he'll be talking live with Todd Harris. Round one, Spence and Algeri underway. And let's go tonight. As we go into round two, this one. You know, I was one of the people who thought, but uh, you know, he's, he's got some things he's got to work on. And, uh, you know, we all do as fighters, but. Well, Spence getting that first round from Eric got officially able to get in and push Spence. And he said, I want him to feel how strong I am. Able to find Daryl too much in this first round. Nice left hand in his own jab. Yeah, with a hard left hand there, and that hurt him. And a nice uppercut by Spence. Spence going to work against the ropes. Algeria's hurt here, Kenny. And he got hit with a hard left hand. And Spence continues to do work against the ropes. Algeria trying to hold on here. Algeria Pacquiao. And hung on time breaks. That was an amazing fight, Kenny. Did you just see it? Again. Nice right and a good left. Chris told us that Errol's a power puncher, and power punchers all get tired. So, interesting point he talked about in the fighter meeting just today. Errol Spence with an impressive. Jerry in that last round, Kenny, and, uh... and in the Spence corner, they were saying, Way to go, keep it up. As we go into this right hand or that left uppercut, and just getting maximum leverage on every single shot. Plan B. It's going to the body. Very intelligent from the young fighter. If he were loading up like that, going to the head, Algeria would make him miss, but Spence is investing down to the body and uh, really banging Chris up. Underneath Errol's head to make sure that Errol kill it. Nice left hook by Chris, Chris Algeri. Algeri trying to fight back with the action being carried here by Spence. Reaching out Algeri. Starting to have some moments here in the third round. Down to the seventh, eighth, ninth rounds to see the conditioning. Where Manny Pacquiao wasn't able to do it. And uh, if Errol Spence can, it would really make a statement tonight. Spence again with some nice shots here late. Beautiful body and shots. Spence doing some work to that body and work along the ropes. Final seconds of round three of his career. And so Jerry, certainly a tough and well-conditioned opponent. He has. He's came out dominant, Kenny. Digging the body, attacking, and hasn't given Chris a chance to get into this fight. He's been so complete. And all three rounds, Eric Braskett unofficially scoring it for Spence and going down on Jerry. Yep. All right. Spence has knocked down on Jerry here in the fourth. The Pacquiao fight. Six times he went down, six times he got up there at Jerry. Yesterday, how he fears the body punches of Spence. The body shots throughout. When you get hurt like that, it's 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 much easier to defend against headshots. Errol, disciplined body puncher, and he saw get his opponent in trouble. And team knockouts out of 19 wins, kid. Those kids, but the longer the fight goes, he gets better with time because of the body. Spence goes on. Good luck. Jerry against the ropes. Spence, gets Spence just assaulted him again off those ropes. This is the fifth round schedule for 10. Spence trying to stay undefeated. He only has fought outside of the state of New York only one time. That last round, and he goes down again. Spence. Not too much more. He twisted his ankle there when he went down. He's not going to be able to take too much more of this. And Spence trying to finish it here. He has a wounded prey, and he knows it.